All right. So we finally got that Super Eagles update we've been waiting on. The team list for the upcoming African Cup of Nations qualification match against Sao Tome was released yesterday. And not just that, the coaching situation is much, much clearer now, being that a deal has been reached between the Nigerian Football Federation and Jose Pizarro. Before we get more into details though, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. So yeah, the Super Eagles squad for the match against Sao Tome released finally. And it's a little bit late to be honest because a lot of countries have already released their list. But either way, 23 players were selected, 3 goalkeepers, 8 defenders, 4 midfielders and 8 forwards. A good number of the players invited during the last international break were also selected into this team. But we do have some key names missing. Alex Iwobi, of course, he just signed with Fulham, but he picked up an injury a couple of weeks ago. Then you have Ahmed Musa and Zaidu Sanusi, who are both injured. Kenneth Omweru didn't make the list. I don't think he's injured. He played 90 minutes for his team in Turkey this weekend, so not too sure what that situation is about. But you also got players returning to the team. And you got Francis Uzoho who missed the last game. I believe that was because of two yellow cards accumulated. So he's back in the team. Ola Aina missed the last game because of injuries. He got injured a week or two ago. He came back in the match against Chelsea. Played 73 minutes for Nottingham Forest. So he's definitely healthy. And he's also back into the team. Tyrone Boy, he... Not too sure why he has not been selected lately, but he's definitely back in fitness, back in form, has no issues with none of those situations, so he's definitely a good player back in the team. Bruno Iemaichi, a player that was brought on by Jose Pacero, not really has been used much. I don't think he was selected during the last international break. I'm going off my head in this time, but I don't think he was selected. Um, he might have been, but... I don't remember him being selected. Jamilu Collins, he returns back into the team. Really happy for Jamilu Collins. He got that serious ACL injury, knee injury, something like that. And he was he missed a whole bunch of time. Now he's back and back into the team. I actually watched him a couple weeks ago against Leicester City. And he did a good job in that match. Rafael Onyedika. Not too sure why he has not been selected either, but to be honest, Jose Pacero has not really been using him when he does select him. Like the last time he played against Algeria, the home base Algerian side, and I don't think he played the main match against the main Algerian side. So I'm not too sure what that situation is about. But we also got guys getting first call-ups, getting call-ups to the national team for the first time. You got Jordan Torun Nariga. Jordan Torun Nariga, I apologize. Um, really didn't practice pronouncing the name beforehand. But that's his name. He plays for KA Gent. He's actually a player that was born in Germany. And he has now been allowed to play for the Super Eagles. Actually went through the process with FIFA. He played for Germany at various youth levels. Actually played in the Olympics for Germany. And now he's going to be playing for the Super Eagles. You also got Victor Boniface, another player that people have been talking about a lot. And he has been doing his thing in Germany. Let's keep it real. The man has been on fire. As soon as he put his foot in Germany, he was on fire. So he makes his, his debut or his first call-up for the Super Eagles. And speaking of first call-up, Gif Orban of Genk in Belgium. And this man has been just, you talk about on fire, this man has been in the pot. Because he has been totally on fire, like from start to finish. And he finally gets that call-up. A lot of people were complaining about him and Victor Boniface in the last, in the last list. And now they get their call up. Hopefully we get to see them. And speaking of seeing, we could only see one MPFL player in the list. And that's Ojo and Lauren Leke of a and Football Club, the goalkeeper. I felt like that selection kind of could have went to Ama Sobasogi of Bendel Insurance. He did a great job for them. Got them into the next round of the CAF Confederations Cup qualifiers with Colosso and the penalty shootout. So I felt like that little paddle in the back should have been given to him. 
But it is what it is. He does have a game coming up on the 15th of September. Maybe that's why the coach doesn't want to take him away from his club side. But either way it goes, I do feel like that's something that should have been done. And that's just my opinion. I will also be doing a breakdown of each player selected into the team. So please be on the lookout for that. And speaking on the Jose Pacero situation, he has signed a new contract with the team. And to be honest, not too much has been said about the contract. No real uh, length of the contract has been discussed with the public. The amount that he's been paid has not been discussed, although they did say he's going to be taking a pay cut. And they also said he has to make it to the semifinals of the next AFCON. So I'm guessing at least, at the very least, he's going to be contracted until the end of the AFCON. And we'll see after that, I guess. Another thing revealed about the contract by the NFF is the fact that he's going to be coaching the Chan team, the home base Eagles. So he's going to be in charge of them from now on. No more Salisu Yusuf in charge of the team. And really, I say this with no disrespect to Salisu Yusuf. Of course, he did win us the silver medal in Morocco is in 2018. So I give him credit for that. But how many times is one man going to fail you and you're going to keep on giving him a job? That just didn't look right for anything in Nigerian football right there. It just made it seem like we're fans of mediocrity or something like that. So it's definitely a step up right here that Jose Pacero is going to be coaching these boys. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Super Eagles list for the match against Sao Tome release. And Jose Pacero signs a new contract to stay in charge of the Super Eagles. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.